Hello, I am Tu Kim Lam. Welcome to the Medical News from Washington, D.C. In this edition of Medical News, we will talk about the newest information on the uh, myocardial infarction, commonly known as heart attack. This disease is the leading cause of death in America and other countries in the world. Especially in the Vietnamese community, the mortality rate is on the rise in a very high level. When talking about myocardial infection or heart attacks, we often think of the elderly people. In reality, however, it is true that is it only happen to older people? And are there any differences in symptoms between men and women when it comes to heart attacks? Here with us today is Dr. Sang Tran, who is currently practicing internal medicine in Falls Church, Virginia. He will talk about um, the causes, symptoms, and all the risks that lead to myocardial infection. He will also answer these above questions based on the latest information on the myocardial infection. Welcome to our medical news show, Dr. Tran. Yes, uh, hello, and welcome to our shows, and uh, hello, Mrs. Lam. So um, we're going to talk about myocardial infection, uh, commonly known as heart attack. To start with, would you explain to our audience what exactly my myocardial infection uh, and what the uh, mortality rate of this disease in the U.S. and in the, in the world? Yes, uh, heart attack spin is, is the um, uh, occlusions of the arteries uh, supposed to be provide uh, oxygen and nutrient to the heart muscles. Um, I think it remembers uh, the heart is the big muscles of the body. The function of the heart is pumping the heart uh, throughout the, all the arteries of the body to provide the nutrients and the oxygen for the body to use. But the heart uh, itself also needs uh, oxygen to, to work. Uh, and if you remember the, around the heart, we have different kind of arteries that provide that kind of uh, supply. And then one of the branches of our arteries is uh, having blockage then the, the oxygen was shut off and people develop heart attack. So I mean heart attack means one of the blockages of the arteries provide oxygen to, to the heart muscles. Now the, the heart attack is, is a very uh, dangerous disease because it kills people very fast. People can, you know, can die in about five, ten minutes uh, from heart attack. Or they may end up in the hospital, they may need uh, surgery, they may need to uh, open up the uh, blockage artery as well. So right now in the United States, uh, if you look at the, on, the, uh, on the screen, you can see according to the study by work health organizations and, uh, in 2004, uh, the United States is still the leading uh, mortalities in the world uh, with about 192,000 um, uh, death uh, uh, a year. And next is Germany and then Brazil and Japan and the, the list is, uh, is Norway. Uh, remember in the United States we eat a lot of meat, uh, we eat a lot of uh, fat, uh, obesity, the numbers of diabetes also increasing. Uh, therefore increase the risk of the heart attack. I think it's uh, that the reason that behind these uh, mortalities uh, now regarding heart attack in the United States. So uh, according to the statistic that you just mentioned, the death rate is very high in the United States. Would you please tell us what, uh, what causes this deadly disease? Yes, the heart attack is really is, uh, well studied uh, nowadays. Uh, right now we understand there's the two main causes of heart attack. Number one, we talk about the <coughs> narrowing of the arteries of the heart by the cholesterol, and usually we call it the black of atherosclerosis, but the narrowing of the artery doesn't cause heart attack uh, yet. Until a small, tiny ruptures of the black of the cholesterol trigger the, uh, the clot forming from the platelets. The function of the platelets is to form the clot to fix any ruptures of arteries in our body. When it says some ruptures in the black the body feel like they need to fix that area and forming the clot. But unfortunately, they cause a complete blockage of artery and causing heart attack. 
Secondly, is we don't need to have the narrowing of the artery from cholesterol to have heart attack. People may develop heart attack from the contrition of the artery or cause spasm. So the, that's the other uh, cause, but much less than the, the cholesterol causing the, the problem of the heart attack. Now, if you look at the heart on the screen, you can see the heart with heart vessels around, and the cholesterol is blockading one of the artery of the heart. And the second picture, you can see the dark area uh, is causing, because the heart damage, the muscle was damaged, cannot function because it's lack of oxygen. Now, if you look at the, the arteries on the screen, you can see the first one is very normal, with no cholesterol inside. The second arteries is usually have about 25% blockage from cholesterol. The third picture is about 50%, but the last one is also 50%, but then the blockage because the thrombus or clot forming, forming inside the artery. Now, if you look at one more picture, you can see clearer the yellow part inside the artery is the cholesterol, but then the last pictures in the bottom, you can see the red one is the clot forming, completely occluded the artery and causing heart attack. These are the, the causes come from the cholesterol. Now, the second cause of the heart attack is because of the spasm of the artery, usually triggered by using cocaine. People usually die heart attack when using a cocaine in early age. Uh, either from the stress or exposed to the extreme cold or they smoke too much cigarettes. So these are the, the other factors that trigger heart attack without any blockage, without any high cholesterol or without any uh, blockage from the, the, uh, the cholesterol. So, um, now, sorry, before we go to that, there's, uh, I just want to invite uh, the audience to look at the, uh, the short movie so you understand clearly what the, the pictures when the heart in action. Uh, first, you can see the heart in action is pumping uh, the blood throughout the artery. And then you can see the arteries uh, with the small blockage from the cholesterol. And then if you pay attention, you can see the tiny break of the black then trigger more the red pore cells coming from the blood that try to fix that area and finally causing occlusions. That the you know, cause the first call heart attack. Now move to the second part of the movie. You can see the artery is normal, it's very open, but then suddenly collapsed and constricted because spasm. That's the second cause. It usually happen to people using cocaine unless so much stress and exposed to so much extreme cold. And these are the, the, the pictures of describing how the heart attack develops. So due to the dangers of this deadly disease, it's very important for our audience to understand the signs and symptoms. Can you describe them? Yes, the symptoms are very important because it's most people need to be aware of that is the chest pain. Now, what chest pain is mean what? Really, uh, the most people have heart attack, that's right, they have very short pain, like somebody stabbing the heart, right in the chest, right in the middle, and then they become sweat, and they cold, clammy, and almost fainted. Some people vomit and collapse. That's the severe uh, cases. Uh, but some people may have less severe, they may have chest pain, but mainly the uh, middle of the heart, and uh, you really go to the neck and go to the back. And the location is very important. If you look at the location on the picture, you can see it's really uh, very vague, because right in the middle it may go to the shoulder, may go to the neck, and may go to the back. Therefore, the, the, the chest pain we call angina is mainly a very sharp pain and accompanied with the sweating, cold, clammy, and almost fainted. That's the sign of heart attack. You mentioned one of the common signs is chest pain. I'm wondering if a person has chest pain, can we say that all the pain is caused by heart attack and nothing else? Not really, sir, because uh, in the chest, you know, it's because we have the heart, we have the lungs, we have the uh, different organs like esophagus right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so these uh, also can trigger some, some pain. Uh, like esophagus, and we have the symptom called heartburn because the acid reflux to the esophagus triggers the heartburn like somebody burn the heart, but mostly not heart attack. Uh, pneumonia can trigger chest pain. Any injury.
see the muscles, the heart can cause chest pain. But remember, say, these are different because it's not severe, and the chest pain from the muscles usually increase with movement, and the, uh, the chest pain from the esophagus relief with some kind of food or using some kind of thumb, something like that. But the chest pain from the heart is very sharp uh, with short breath and sweating. Now, but uh, you know, saying that it doesn't mean that you know you have to to believe whatever you 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 listen today. But you know, whenever it happened to you, if you're not for sure, call nine one one or go direct to the hospital or ask somebody to help you to find out exactly whether it's related to heart because it's, it's the heart attack can kill you very very quick. Thank you, sir. Um, when we talk about heart attack, very often we uh, tend to think this only happened to the elderly people. Is it true this disease only happened to the older adult? Well, really, it says when you get older, the risk is higher, but this it may happen when you're young age and, and when you have risk factors like diabetes, cholesterol, and you smoke a lot. And especially in space, um, uh, people may have not blockage, but they have heart attack because using cocaine and under so much uh, extremely stress as well. So it doesn't mean that you get old, you get heart attack. People may develop heart attack at early age if they cannot control the risk factors involved in their heart attack that we want to talk about. So in heart attacks, are there any differences in uh, the symptom between uh, men and women? Yeah, definitely, because men are always different from uh, ladies. Uh, but, uh, in this case, uh, I think it's, the study shows it's so much different because men usually have the chest pain uh, more early age and it's very sharp. But ladies, uh, if you look at the study, it shows that 70% is just complaint of fatigue, feel weak, and sometimes sweating, sometimes feel like indigestion, heartburn, things like that. But the real chest pain is very, very low. And therefore, for the ladies, really, uh, I think it's difficult sometimes to figure out whether they have a heart attack or not. But therefore, I, um, my advice is it's better when you develop some kind of unusual symptom. Yes. It's not related to anything, then you better to get uh, some help from the professional to figure out whether it's exactly is from the heart or not. So before we wrap up for today, uh, would you please tell us what are the risk factors that lead into heart attack? Risk factors are very important because it's the only way we can control we can manage, we can decrease the risk of heart attack. Uh, risk means when you have these, you may sooner or later develop heart attack. Mm -hmm. Number one is diabetes. Number one, diabetes is, is really triggered heart attack most of the time. Secondly, cigarette. Cigarette is so important because it's not more aware that cigarette can trigger heart attack. But really, cigarette triggers the atherosclerosis, meaning the narrowing of the, the artery. And it's triggered more heart attack than any, anything else uh, besides diabetes. And then cholesterol, we know, hypertension, we know. And then the family history of heart attack is so important also because when you have a family of heart attack, you have the risk involved. Obesity, men over 45. And very interesting is just, uh, for the last decade, in most of the experts discuss a lot about the the chemicals in the blood called homocysteine. Homocysteine is really increased when people they don't have enough uh, vitamin B2, B6, and folic acid. These uh, vitamins can be found in the green vegetable, with broccoli, uh, green uh, vegetables, and um, if you eat enough green vegetable, you don't have that problem. So at least you can decrease some of the risk factors going to the heart attack. Now the other thing is uh, you are aware that stress can cause spasm, alcohol, and any inflammatory disease also trigger that. But very interesting, this last thing is infection in the mouth, infection in the gum. Uh, nobody knows why it's related to the heart, but the studies show the bacteria can move to the bloodstream go to the artery of the heart and causing damage to the black of the cholesterol inside the artery and trigger blockage there. So these things that we can control, we can try to improve and try to control to, to decrease the risk of heart attack. I think that's, that's everything we need to know. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Chang, we're out of time. Thank you, Dr. Chang, for being here with us today. And uh, thanks again for uh, listening to our show today, and thanks, uh, uh, Ms. Glenn. 
um, that was Dr. Sang Tran who just shared with us about the causes, symptoms, and all the risk factors that lead to the myocardial infection or heart attack disease. He also answered the question about the above issue that based on the latest information. In the next edition, we will talk about ways to diagnose and update treatment for myocardial infection. Please stay tuned for more in the next edition. We hope the information that Dr. Trang has shed more light on the deadly disease. That is all the time we have for this edition of Medical News. Thanks for watching. I am Tu Kim Lam. We'll see you next time on the Medical News. Until then, have a great one.